Bleed black and gold, buff forever. You already know, man. It's your boy, you know, T Green, and I'm back with another one. Boy, 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 when I tell you, we is not slowing down, not one bit, boy. The summer is heating up, and oh my gosh, when I tell you, we got another double cheeseburger, another Big Mac, another quadruple Whopper from Five Guys, or wherever your favorite burger place, because when I tell you, y'all, we got a dog, J Garden High, 6'8", 350 pounds. Pounds, y'all, and that's per 247 Sports, y'all. Did you hear me? Six, eight, 350 pounds, y'all. This offensive tackle had offers from Pittsburgh, Boston College, Marshall, just to name a few, and he out of West Bloomfield High School, y'all. Now, this senior is doing his thing, and he committed about 10 days ago. If I'm correct here, June 17th, he made the announcement like, hey, I, I pretty much know where I'm going to be going. And would you believe he went on and put his name on that dotted line? So this all I needed to see, because like I say, y'all, you know I don't report on everything, but I report on once these boys go ahead and make that strong commitment you know what i mean because dude is huge boy i tell you i already know coach phil low hold like i always say sitting back doing the bird man hand roll because he down in the trenches and he making sure that he get these dogs to be protecting for our 2025 quarterback juju <laughs> now Juju ain't signed yet But you know we gonna go ahead and talk Like he gonna go ahead and make that switch And come on up here to Boulder But whoever that quarterback be It could be Ryan Staub Who knows it don't matter We need some dogs protecting him And boy 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 when I tell you this 6, 8, 340 pound 350 pound It don't matter how many pounds he got On him because right now They got him listed as a humongous Dude I mean, oh my gosh, I'm looking at his highlights, y'all, and he is just pancaking these dudes left and right and slinging them all across the field. It's ridiculous. I'm a love seeing him in that Colorado Buffaloes uniform because, boy, 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 they're going to have to do a lot of stitching because I'm telling you now, he is huge now. He was enrolled out there at Wayne, New Jersey, D. Hall Prep as a freshman, as a basketball player, y'all. Now, this dude played basketball. Now, it kind of makes sense because... Because since eight, he probably should have been out there dunking on people. Now, he picked up football before his sophomore season from what I've been reading. You know, and then he played a little bit on the defense line. Then that right tackle. Now, he was injured and missed his junior season. But, boy, he came in and started the ball a lot. Now, he moved to Michigan and enrolled to West Bloomfield the second semester of his junior year. So, hey, you know what I mean? Hey, we're going to go ahead and float through this year here. He's going to go ahead and do his thing. You already know we're going to see him in that CU Buffaloes uniform here very soon. 2025 can't come no quicker for this young man because when I tell you it's going down, yes, it's going down. Now, like I say, you know, he had a lot of offers and, you know, it was a lot of, you know, back and forth trying to figure things out. But I already knew, like I always say, once you come out here to Boulder, you know what I mean? And you meet with Coach Prime and Phil Lowe, host sit down with you and, and let you know, hey, man, we could use you. You know what I mean? We could use you like right now. Boy, we finna have some dogs, man. But you already know the motto. You already know the motto, man. Another day above ground is what? Truly a blessing. Like, share, subscribe. Tune in with your boy, you know, T Green. I'm gonna be right back with another one.